Hello everyone, this is White Wolf. And I wanted to talk about belief can be very powerful if we use it in a way that's not counterproductive, but allows us to be more productive in the way that we believe in oneself. And if we allow ourselves to demonstrate the belief systems that really align to the desires that we have within our existence, which will allow us to really believe in ourselves, believe in what we're doing, but also have the belief of having the doors of heaven laid at our feet. Understanding that if you have the belief in the alignment and the resonance based on your decisions on how you can empower each situation because you're choosing to inspire yourself and give yourself that insight, which gives you that foresight so that you can allow yourself to believe in something greater than yourself, believing in something past yourself. Belief is allowing you to really empower and motivate yourself past that empowerment where it doesn't seem like it's a question, where it doesn't seem like it's something that you don't want to do, but it's something of repetition and it allows you to figure out that your belief systems, your emotions, your sense perceptions really correlate on how you project here and now, how you elevate the energy here and now, and how you choose and how you decide and how you perceive at this moment your belief systems can be very powerful and impactful on how you channel and project that knowledge here and now. So it's really focusing your projections and aligning your belief systems with the aligned actions and thoughts and emotions that try to generate how you fluctuate within your energetic configuration. So it allows you to be more impactful with the way that you channel your energy. So meaning that it generates more of an impact because you're actually thinking for yourself. You're actually choosing for yourself. You're actually embracing free will right at this exact moment. And if you allow yourself to embrace free will at this exact moment, then you embrace the belief that I am faithful to my convictions, to my decisions, to my actions, to who I am. So I'm faithful in the developing of receiving. If I'm able to receive, if I'm able to forlong the journey, if I'm able to just continue and not give up on myself, that means that belief is changing your life at this exact moment. Meaning that it changes the way that you think and feel and act and channel. Means that you know how to move your energy. But also, it gives you a firm balance of work and then play within your life. Just because you have a nine to five doesn't mean that you can't implement this within your life or if you have a business or if you have anything going on in your life that is so big Believe in something outside of yourself, meaning believe in the great I am because you're allowing yourself to be led by divine orchestration, meaning that our belief systems reshape our reality. They reshape how we feel about ourselves and they also encapsulate the now present moment. So believe in what you want to receive. Believe in yourself at this moment. If you believe in knowing yourself at this exact moment, then you won't have disbelief, you won't have disdain, you won't feel disillusioned in those negative beliefs or those patterns or those attachments that you have to those forms, meaning that you're embracing formlessness. It means that you're embracing nothingness, meaning that you are the container which receives all the bountiful gifts, the fountain of youth that it wants to receive at this exact moment. So thinking about that is that our belief systems change over time and we change over time we elevate the energy and we change with the course and the direction that we're trying to become at this exact moment so if you allow yourself to receive that change to receive that embodiment within yourself meaning that you're able to redirect the focus of what you're going through even if you're trying to have a healthy form of ignorance, meaning that you're ignoring the things that are trying to come in, but it doesn't mean that you're not wanting to deal with it. It means that you're trying to put your focus off of it so that you can deal with it. But our beliefs come from the point of which we want to stop to suffer, meaning that we're wanting to receive more, we're wanting more benefit out of our meditative practice, but we're also wanting more benefit on how we can go about being more relaxed, being more in sync, being more in our vibrational alignment. 
in choosing to encourage ourselves to live in a constant state of affirmation, of a good attitude, of appreciation to what we're going through, and seeing that if we believe something, then it might be true. But we could believe something that is not true, and it's an illusion that we have to see through. So it's kind of understanding like, okay, if I believe that I am lowly or I'm, I'm, I'm unworthy, I'm not worthy of receiving, then that's what you're going to attract within your life. But if you see yourself as wealthy, if you see yourself as healthy, if you see yourself as impactful and powerful and a leader and a person that is willing to have conviction in its faith, and you know that you always receive all the time and that that never stops or changes, then that changes the flavor of it. That changes the act of it. That changes how you feel about the belief itself and allows you to reconfigure the energy. Meaning that you choose to receive always. You choose to become the person that you want to be. You choose to be the dreams that are manifesting itself into oneness. So belief is a powerful way to have those little baby steps that turn into quantum leaps, that turn into a big step in the right direction of what we want to do in our lives. So belief is something that we carry with us all the time. And if we use it in a way that is much different than the way that we've been using it, literally today can be a new day for you. Meaning that you change the way you thought, the way you think, the way you go about life, the way that you attract life to yourself. And in that moment, there's something inside of you that wants it, that craves it, that desires the change within yourself because you've let go of the limitation or the idea of the limitation, of the expectation that you're experiencing in that moment. And that's why it's freeing when you let go of it or you don't think it's sensible. You don't think it's <laughs> really a good thing to do. And it means that you have more love for yourself, you have more conviction, you have more faith, you have more of a tenacity about you because you're more tenacious in the very fact that you really want the most out of life at this exact moment. So, it's understanding that we can really change how we feel at this exact moment. If you change the identification of it, if you change the attachment to ego, if you change how you want to transform and how you felt about those peak moments. Sometimes we do have ups and downs. Sometimes we do have moments where we are not in that comfortable state. But once we get past that, that really is when we quantum leap into something else. That means we're choosing a much different vibrational alignment and a direct source of correlation of how we can use our compass of creation and finding out that if we like the south, then let's go to the south, let's go to the north or west. No matter what direction you choose, it's your alignment at the end of the day. So no matter what direction you choose, make it your direction. That's the point. It's not about there's a right or a wrong way to meditate. Now there's an there's a negative way to meditate, there's a negative way to seek, and there's a positive way to meditate, and there's a positive way to seek out your truth of what you want to do at this exact moment. So it's kind of like opening up yourself to the understanding of throwing away the attachments, throwing away what you don't want to become in that moment. And if something comes into your space that is not of resonance, that is not of how you want to be grounded at this exact moment, then you don't have to feel obligated to justify it or entertain it or be a part of it. That means like if you don't entertain it, it's not a part of you. Sometimes it's like, yeah, if you go to the store, sometimes you might feel bad, but just clear the energy. Sometimes your empathic abilities just come up and then you just have to adapt. And I'm, I'm not saying that everybody is perfect at it. Not everybody's perfect at it. Not everybody's going to always be aligned and be truthful, but it's not about that, but it's just about what are you gonna change right now? It doesn't matter what happened two minutes ago. What are you gonna do about it right now? So it's kind of like, a lot of the times we feel like we have the odds stacked against us. That's just a thought. That's just an equation that we made up in our minds. That's just an imagination 
a distorted imagination, but if you use your imagination for the greater good, you can really change how you feel at this exact moment. Because belief changes and allows everything to have an outline of that deep water horizon so that you're not, you're not outer space and you're not completely just having your head in the sand. So you're not over here, you're not over there, but you're simultaneous in your nature. Meaning that you're everywhere all the once and you're doing something, even if you don't feel like you're doing something. So a lot of us feel like we have to physically be of service in this, in this moment. But what I'm doing right now is non-physically being of service at this exact moment. So it's kind of like understanding that just because I'm on this camera does not mean that I'm not being of service with my message, with what I'm sharing, and also the meditation that we're gonna be doing at this exact moment. So it's kind of understanding like, don't lock yourself in a box. Don't put yourself in a category. Don't put yourself in an idea of belief. Beliefs can be the best thing and they can be the most detrimental thing. But allow your beliefs to speak life back into you. If you allow the belief systems to speak life directly back into you, then that's the conviction. That's the power. That's the faith. And that's the empowerment that is being thrusted through you. That means that's the unction, that's the channel that just magically arises out of your soul. That's just the divine channel that goes through you. No matter what it is, no matter where you're at, it can never change. Because God is always changing. And thank you for saying that, it's very kind of you. Um, and it's really not about speaking the truth, but it's just saying it with the fire and the passion and not caring about what other people think or feel about it or what society thinks or it's just saying the right thing when nobody notices or doing the exact aligned thing when nobody notices. It's not about liking or loving what I say, but it's because of the fact that I'm brave enough to say it and maybe rattle the cages and then maybe it'll generate a spark somewhere because that's the point of it. That's the point of the resonance and the truth that is channeled through us through belief. It's not about just saying the nice thing or just being the nicest person on the planet, but it's doing the things that is of divine obedience for people to give them love, to give them unconditional love. Um, and sometimes we have to reflect in a way that is very much of leadership and a, being of authority. So we always have to reflect the creator back and we're always having the creator reflected back to us. That's, that's another thing. So the creator is always being reflected back to us, no matter how much we run away or fight it or have a tug of war with ourselves. We're always going to melt into the oneness, no matter what. It's just the nature of it. So uh, we're going to do a meditation, but I wanted to give a brief announcement that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be going live doing divine readings tonight. I hope to see you guys there. The donations are $20, and I do have a 40-minute special for $100 for private sessions. And... Um, the biggest thing that I wanted to get through with this live was that when we change the way that we believe, then that belief becomes the intention of speaking worlds into existence. Think about that for a moment. Our belief becomes the manifestation of the intention of speaking worlds into existence. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know anything else about the live or the meditation. But just that alone will help you recalibrate and bring and reinforce the focus. So, so we're going to do a meditation. I hope you take part in this meditation. And also just the understanding of 
of I'm going to answer this question, then we'll do the meditation. Um, in the beginning, I used to have butterflies. I used to write down and look at a notebook, but at the end of the day, you just have to speak from your heart. And if your shyness gets in the way, you don't have to worry about messing up a word. You don't have to mess up, um, worry about messing up. You don't have to worry about messing up or finding your voice or saying the most aligned things or Maybe you're slow with your message, but it's just about carrying the message out regardless. Because if it's coming from the divine and the divine is speaking through you, the divine will work with you and help you find your voice. Because if, it, if it's needed to be heard, then you will have other people want to hear you and want to receive from you. So don't be afraid to speak in that authority, even if it's really tough, even if you have to ask the divine to help you or your guides or your higher self. So it's just having that ability to overcome is to allow yourself to embrace the shyness, embrace that feeling, and then let go of how it's negatively affecting you. It's just understanding that. So it's just coming from the understanding that you don't have to tolerate the shyness, but maybe you have to accept the shyness and then be able to let it go. And then that will make you more comfortable and malleable. I hope that answered your question. So we're gonna do a meditation. So feel free to release any energy. Feel free to relax your spine, relax your neck. Also just get into a calm state and allow the meditation to work for you. And you can do a repeat after me if you'd like. I believe in myself. I believe in myself wholeheartedly. I believe only in the goodness of manifestation. I am the belief that gives me inspiration. I am the difference maker when I overcome the obstacles that I may have attracted to myself or presented to myself, but now I just see them as a way of expanding and changing and transforming the belief as the intention to speak worlds into existence. I am that intention of speaking worlds into existence with my words of wisdom. With my words, I can know that I'm using them as heart healing activations for the collective. I know that I am the love that I am seeking. I know that if I just give up the resistance, the fight, the tug of war within myself, that I can make an abrupt change here and now. And that nothing has to come in my way because the doors of heaven are laid at my feet. Meaning that I change the gravitational pull with my energy. And if I speak and demonstrate that conviction within my belief systems that help me align to a direct power so that I can be grounded within that, rooted within that, that I can allow myself to be a seed that plants other seeds. And nothing has to change my belief systems because my belief systems are a support system on how I create.
I am the dedication, I am the resonance. I allow myself to be perfection. I allow myself to be in a constant state of reception, to receive within my heart's desire. To love life as it is, because it's already perfection. Because I believe that I am divine. I believe I am the obedience to the divine. I see everything as the alchemy of the true magic that I can allow the universe to surprise me today. And see when you do this, when you change the way that you believe, your beliefs, your actions, your choices, the embracing of your free will. It's just the way that you channel in your most authentic state. It is just you being the most authentic version of yourself. That is the truth, speaks the truth, lives inside of the truth, no matter what. And now, because of this beautiful exchange this beautiful moment. Nothing can alter that. You can't be subjected to something else because that is your state and only your state. And therefore, when you choose to be profound, to be loving, to be the oracle of love line wisdom. It means you have full acceptance that your beliefs are the manifestation of the intention to automatically speak worlds into existence in the now present moment. So everyone take one last deep breath. Exhale. And so it is. So there we go. That is the meditation. So I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, enjoying the meditation, being a part of it. And I hope to see you guys later on tonight. So 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll be going live doing divine readings. So I'll be doing divine readings for $20 donations. So they're donation only. And I do have a 40 minute special for $100. And you guys can book private sessions anytime. Just text me on TikTok. I'll send you contact information. And then we will do that. So you're welcome. So it is a pleasure to be with you guys. Just remember that your belief systems are the intention of the manifestation of speaking worlds into existence. You can say that as many times as you want. It can be a living, breathing affirmation. It can be just reinforcement. It can just be the very fact that you can literally 
change how you feel in that exact moment if you just say that I am the intention of the manifestation of speaking worlds into existence because then that means that your words everything that you say everything that you do is speaking to the existence of the most prosperous timeline and if you didn't get anything else out of this life and you only got that that's all you need you don't need you didn't even need the uh, entire thing but just that little slither that little nugget of gold will be enough so thank you guys god bless namaste this is white wolf and until next time